with national media company. I worked for NBC for about eight years or something like that. Um, and then uh, what did I do after that? Oh, I went back to Tribune. Never a smart move. Never go back. <laughs> There's never said never go backwards. So uh, I went back to high roll, but just still never go backwards. <laughs> and then uh, uh, moved back home to Chicago and stayed there for a bit and then got the call uh, to move to LA. And for the last four years, I've been leading Uninterrupted pretty much since its inception. Um, and we can, I assume we'll talk more about that, but that's pretty much my, my career path. But in the middle of all that, uh, I did serve on the board of USA Taekwondo. Um, so I've been in the Olympic movement, um, did that for about four years or so. And so supporting the folks over at the USOC and all that stuff. So I know a little bit of that, getting a board off uh, probation. Well, we, those, are, those are conversations over drinks. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, so that's really kind of my career. So, uh, change trends in sport media consumption, uh, how important was that to uh, Uninterrupted being launched, and how important is it for the direct to fan, for a celebrity yeah. talent? Can you speak to that? It's, it's a thing. Uh, it's, the, it's our own natural. I mean, uh, if you know the origin story of Uninterrupted, uh, what happened was LeBron and his business partner, partner Rob Mapper Carter, were on a plane, um, really kind of sketching out, and I think this was right after um, LeBron announced that he was going back to Cleveland after the Miami um, stint, where he, uh, his championship stint, if you, if you will. And uh, I think part of the conversation that they had at the time was everyone remembered the decision. Everyone remembered how that went down and what, how that made him feel. feel. And his approach uh, going back to Cleveland was a little different, a little more intimate. And what he did was did a uh, self uh, first person essay. Um, written by uh, Lee Jenkins in, the Sports, Il in Sports Illustrated. And in that uh, article, as he's expressing himself, he says that I want to come to my fans uninterrupted. And that was the origin of how uninterrupted started. And it really was the springboard to figuring out a path for uh, athletes to kind of control their own narrative and have conversations directly with their fans and supporters that um, are less filtered by journalists and other platforms that sometimes take pieces and bits and pieces and take pieces that make sense for them and make sense for a broader narrative that they're trying to create in an article uh, instead of what the athlete